David, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I see the sheriff's here. Did he find Vicky? No, he did not. Does he have any clues? When the cannery whistle blows at noon, he knows it's time for lunch. That to him is a clue. And it accounts for the size of him. And he doesn't know anything about Matthew either. Well said, Davy. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, but look here, I want to ask you something. But I've got to go. I want to ask you something. <sighs> Can't it wait? No, it cannot. What is it? This morning, I remember lighting a cigarette when I was talking with you, and I put the pack on the table. Are you supposed to smoke while you're working? Now, don't talk to me like that. I'm telling you that I put a package of cigarettes in front of you on the table, and I haven't seen them since. So what do you want with me? Do you know where they are? How would I know? I think you do. I don't know where they are. Maybe you should look harder. I've looked very hard, and it looks very suspicious to me. Well, maybe they walked off by themselves. Oh, come here. Hey, what are you doing? Just a minute here. I want to see something. What are you doing? Go of my hand. No, I guess not. What did you do that for? I was looking to see if you had yellow fingers, if you have started smoking. You thought I took your secrets to smoke? That's the idea. You're the only one around here who would. Mrs. Johnson, if I wanted cigarettes, I wouldn't steal them. I'd buy them. All right, Mike, thank you. Well, if you hear anything more, then let me know. Right. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, David. You have been uh, breaking any laws lately? <laughs> like what? Oh, speeding on your bicycle. Sheriff, what does it mean when the cannery whistle blows? Lunch? That's right. Why did you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. <laughs> have you found any clues about Matthew or yeah. Vicky? Well, we have some. We have some uh, footprints of Miss Winters and some of Matthew Morgan. Some tire tracks, some old and some new, but unfortunately nothing that leads us anyplace. Where are you looking? Well, all over. We've covered this area now. We're going on to a new section. We're going to leave some men behind here, though, in case Matthew comes back. Where do you think he's hiding? Well, I've tried all the places I could think of. There is one other possibility, though. What's that? Well, Matthew isn't the kind of man that many people would like, but... But I like him! Uh, I mean, I did like him. Well, what I mean to say is that it's possible that someone is trying to hide him. Oh, you think so? Well, anything is possible in a case like this. Who do you think would hide him? Well, I don't know, but uh, whoever it is, if someone is trying to hide him, I sure wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Why? Well, he's a very dangerous and desperate man. Isn't that reason enough? Do you think Matthew would hurt anyone who tried to help him? Well, you can't be sure. He's very unpredictable. I don't think he would. Well, at any rate, the person who hides Matthew is lucky enough to come out of this with his skin, then he'll have to face me. Why you? Well, it's against the law to harbor a known criminal. He'd be an accessory after the fact. But what if the man didn't know Matthew was wrong? Well, he'd have to know that. It's been on the radio and in the newspapers. I see. So, he'd be guilty. What would happen to him? Well, he'd have to go to jail. Matthew could go to jail? Absolutely. But even if he thought he was right? Well, there's a difference between thinking you're right and being right. Here's a snapshot of Vicki George. Oh, thank you. Hello, David. Where have you been? Around. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. I just wish there was something more I could do for you. Well, you're doing your best. Well, I'll return this as soon as I get a copy made. Thank you. Well, don't bother to see me out. Oh, I uh, see Mrs. Johnson is waiting for that pleasure. Goodbye, David. Bye. Bye, George. Aunt Elizabeth, the sheriff told me if anyone helps Matthew, he could get in trouble and go to jail. That's right. But I thought it was good to help somebody. Not if that person has done something wrong and Matthew has done something terribly wrong. Aunt Elizabeth, do you think Matthew has Vicky? I don't know. Would he hurt her? It's possible.
possible. Could he kill her? I, I'd rather not talk about it, David. Aunt Elizabeth, do you know all the secrets about the old house? What do you mean? Well, are there any secrets? Everybody knows the old ghost stories. No, I mean something more secret than that. Something about the walls. Is there a secret about the walls? Not that I know of. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I just wanted to know. I like the old house, and I was just wondering. I wish that someday you'd ask an important question. Like about schoolwork? Well, that would help. Not me. Now, where are you going? Out. Where? Around. All over. I want you back here before dark. Where are they? What? My cigarettes. Stop bugging me. I think you know where they are. I think you're up to something. Too soon. I Thought to... I told you to stop coming here so much. I have to tell you something. What's that? Uh, I was talking to the sheriff. What about? I didn't say anything. You sure? I wouldn't come back here after I'd said something or told on you, would I? I don't know. What did the sheriff say to you? He said hmm? that he's going to move and search to another place. And he's only going to leave a few men around here. Good, good. That'll make it easier for me to get away. But you said you were going to stay. I can't stay here. It's not safe. But Sooner or later, they'll have to come back here. They're not going to find you. You promised you'd stay. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, Davy. I, I, I'm staying. Anyway, they won't find you because you have a good hiding place. Matthew, where do you hide? In your business. I was just asking. You do too much asking. But it is good. You bet. Did you smoke the cigarettes I brought you? Yeah, I, I smoked some. Mrs. Johnson's mad. She thinks I took them. Don't ever steal anything like that again, you hear me? Don't take chances. Just cut it out. I'm sorry. If you want to help me, you, you must never do anything that might hurt me. Understand? Matthew, the sheriff said something. What? He said that if somebody helped a wanted criminal, then he might go to jail. Is that true? No. Then why did the sheriff tell me? To scare you. Oh, the sheriff said something else. It's accessory after the fact. What does that mean? That's <laughs> lawyer talk. Who are you going to believe, him or me? I've been believing you. You're going to keep on believing me, ain't you? Sure I am, Matthew. Matthew, if they ever catch up to you, you wouldn't tell on me, would you? No, I wouldn't. What are you asking for? Because I don't want to go to jail. We've got nothing to worry about, Davy. Not a thing. But jail's something to worry about. You won't go to jail. Sheriff's filling your head with foolish notions. But what if they capture you? You won't tell them I helped you, will you? I told you I wouldn't. You trust me, don't you? Yes. 
You better get on home now, Davy. They might start looking for you. Okay. What are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing there. Just some empty bookshelves and some ghosts that make funny noises. I thought you didn't believe in ghosts. I'm beginning to. There's no other explanation, so those noises must have been made by ghosts, right? I guess there is no other explanation. <laughs> Go along now, Davy. We don't want anyone to guess our secret, do we? If they did, then it wouldn't be a secret anymore. That's right, Davy, so don't come here unless you have to. It's too dangerous. I'm sorry I made you mad before. I'm not mad. Friends don't get mad at friends. You've been Real good to an old man, Davy. I'll never forget you as long as I live. Do you think you'll be leaving by tonight? I might, if the sheriff's men are gone by then. I'll let you know when they leave. And I'll try to sneak some more food so you won't have to stop on the road. You're a fine lad, Davy. The finest I ever met. I met plenty. See you later, then? That's right, Davy. See you later. Tried to attract the boy's attention, did you? They had to break your neck. Please. I warned you about that before. I told you not to try it again. I'm warning you here and now. Don't push me too far. He, he doesn't know that I'm in here. He, he thought he heard a ghost. Only because I made him swallow that story. Lucky for me, he likes to believe those things. You still tried to get his attention. I, I didn't know that it was David out there. I heard some strange noises, and they frightened me, so I tried to scream, and, and that's what he heard. You didn't do it deliberate, so he'd know you were in here? No, no, Matthew. I don't believe you. I don't trust you for a minute. Can you trust David? What are you talking about? What if he suspects that I'm in here? What if he tells somebody? He doesn't suspect, and even if he did, he wouldn't tell on me. How can you be sure? I trust that boy more than I trust anybody else. He's had lots of opportunity to tell on me, but he hasn't. You heard him just now. He's frightened. He's afraid he's going to get into trouble. If you were smart, you'd clear out now and just leave me here before he has an opportunity to tell what he knows. I can't clear out. You heard what the boy said. The sheriff's men are all over the ground. Only a few of them. One is enough to put a bullet in my back. If I clear out, I'll have to do it after dark. I, I gotta get, get away better in darkness. Is that what you're planning to do? I, I don't know what I'm planning to do yet. I, I made up my mind. Well, you haven't got much time. You know David as well as I do. You know how unpredictable he can be. After tonight, I don't have to trust him. Till then, I haven't got much of a choice. Not if you have news about Vicky. 
We don't know any more than we did. The sheriff was up here a little while ago. What did he say? Well, he's convinced she's nowhere on the grounds. He took most of his men and left. They're giving up? Well, what else could they do? They made a thorough search and couldn't find Vicky. I have a feeling they're giving up too easily. She could still be someplace on the property or nearby. They looked every place there is to look. Anyway, Burke, I didn't call you to talk about Vicky. I wanted to tell you what's been going on up here. That is, if you have the time to listen. What's going on? Well, I had the most terrific battle with Mother and Uncle Roger this afternoon. They keep saying the same thing over and over again. I can't see you again, Burke. I can't stand much more of it. Carolyn, I don't mean to sound abrupt, but can we talk about this another time? If it isn't convenient for you to talk about it now. No, I am expecting another call, frankly. I'm beat. I haven't slept since the night before last. Yes, I know. I'm sorry I bothered you. It's all right. I'll talk to you later. All right, Burke. She's upstairs resting. And don't you bother her. She didn't get very much sleep last night. Where's my father? He's resting, too. Everybody around this house is exhausted, including me. Carolyn, do you think Matthew would hurt Vicky? David, let's not talk about it. But I want to talk about it. I'm worried about her, too. Would he or could he hurt Miss Winters or anyone else? I never used to think so. He was always sort of gruff, but I never thought he could hurt a fly. What made you change your mind? Bill Malloy's death, for one thing. Accident or no accident, Matthew was responsible. But what if he wasn't? What if somebody else was? And somebody else tried to kill Vicky on at least three occasions, too. Like the time the car tried to run her down. Well, my father was out in his car that night. Wasn't he? What are you getting at? David, if you still think Uncle Roger tried to kill Vicky, you must be out of your mind. Maybe, maybe not. You really are a little monster to think a thing like that about your own father. Maybe I'm just smarter than everyone else. Well, David, if you're so smart, Suppose you explain to me how Uncle Roger managed to push that stone urn off the roof of the old house when he was being held by the sheriff at the time. Well, it could have been an accident. Matthew wouldn't have pushed that thing off the roof. I know he wouldn't try to kill Miss Winters. I know he wouldn't. You only believe what you want to believe. Hmm. You don't know anything. All right, David, have it your own way. Matthew is a sink, and Vicky hasn't disappeared. I wish you were right. I don't like to think of her lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Stop talking like that! David, you might as well face it. If Matthew has gotten hold of Vicky, we're never going to see her again. At least not alive. 